Did you know, as an employer, you may be entitled to Commonwealth incentives, which can offset the cost of training your apprentice or trainee. If you qualify, a claim smart form will be emailed to you from noreply at industry.gov.au around the due date. Check your spam and junk mail folders if you can't find it in your inbox. If it's not there, contact MEGT to make sure we have your correct email address on file. The Smartform link is only active for 60 days from the last time saved. But don't panic if you can't get to it in time. Just let us know before the expiry date and we'll send you a new one. The Smartform is easy to fill out and only takes a few moments of your time. For best results, use a desktop, a laptop or a tablet device instead of your mobile phone. The Smartform must be co-authorised by your apprentice or trainee. If they're not available, you can upload evidence of their wages instead to prove they were employed at the effect date. Some states will need other documents uploaded too, like a training plan or an RTO declaration form. Once submitted, the claim smart form will be sent directly to MEGT for processing. And keep an eye on your email in case your claim is returned to you for extra information. For detailed instructions, Download MEGT's guide to completing claim smart forms at the MEGT website. If you've been identified as potentially eligible to claim Boosting Apprenticeship Commencement Wage Support, or BAC, a BAC claim smart form will be emailed to you from noreply at industry.gov.au around the due date. If it doesn't arrive, check your spam and junk mail folders. If you still don't have it, contact MEGT to confirm we have your correct email address on file. The first page of the claim form has been pre-populated for your convenience and the information can't be updated from here. Please check this information is correct and if anything requires updating, you can do so on the next page. The first question on the second page relates to the claim period. Payments are made in arrears quarterly. For example, the first claim period is for wages paid from the 5th of October to the 31st of December 2020, with the claim payable from the 1st of January 2021. If your apprentice commenced during the claim period you selected, please select Yes. Or if your apprentice cancelled, withdrew or completed within this period, select Yes and provide the date this occurred. Evidence that training has commenced must be provided with your BAC claim. If the training contract is registered in New South Wales, Tasmania, South Australia or Western Australia, MEGT will have the required evidence on file. So please select My Network Provider has the necessary evidence. Employers in Victoria or Queensland will need to upload a copy of the training plan provided by their registered training organisation, such as an RTO or a TAFE. If the file size exceeds the limit for the smart form, please email directly to MEGT for processing. Did you identify changes required to the pre-populated information on the first page? This next section is where you provide the updated information, including any changes to your bank account. Remembering the account name must match your business, legal or trading name. You must provide wage evidence for the entire claim period. Wage evidence must include gross wages paid to the Australian apprentice for each pay period. This could be payroll prints or pay slips. The Australian apprentice's full name, your business's ABN and employer legal name, and the number of hours the apprentice worked. Payroll summaries cannot be accepted unless they meet all the wage evidence requirements previously outlined. Please ensure wage evidence covers the entire period the apprentice worked from the apprenticeship commencement date to the end of the claiming period. For example, the last few days of December 2020 might be paid in the first pay slip of January 2021 and will need to be included in the wage evidence supplied. Enter your name and position in the business and tick the employer declaration button. The employer declaration is a legal declaration, so it's important that all the information on the claim form is true and correct. When the claim is completed and the evidence uploaded, select Submit at the bottom of the screen. You'll receive a confirmation email that the claim has been submitted. The smart form link is only valid for 60 days from the last time saved, but don't panic if you can't get to it in time. Just contact MEGT on 13MEGT before the expiry date and we'll send you a new one. 
For further information on claiming BAC, refer to email correspondence you've received from MEGT or visit our website.